Hey, I'm Dr. Nick Chalfa, husband, or some would say art slave, to artist D. Beard Dean, who is well known for plein air painting and being the founder of the organization Plain Air Painters of the Southeast. When people see Dee painting on plain air, they often ask where she gets her art panels. At workshops and events, she frequently is asked for information on how to make their own panels. So, by popular request, this is a short video on making plain air art panels. I hope you enjoy it. We're going to be making 12 by 16 inch panels for a plain air trip by air. So, we're using 3 16 inch thickness gator foam panels this time. These are a wood veneer panel with inner foam sandwich and very lightweight. They will dent or break, however, and I'll show you how to protect them for air travel. I order these from foamboardsource.com. If you're going to make a lot of panels, you will probably order a roll of canvas. This particular canvas is Clausen's number 109, Universal Primed Linen Medium Weave, which comes in 82 inch width. Dick Blick, Jerry's, and Utrecht all carry bulk canvas. D also uses Clausen's number 15 DP, which is double primed oil, medium weave. It will be shipped in a long tube like the one shown here. Lay the canvas roll out on the work table and use the panel to measure the size to cut. Leave one half inch margin on two sides so the canvas will overlap the panel by one fourth inch when you glue it up. Plan ahead to get the most panels from your canvas. Cut the canvas to proper size and stack to flatten it. Here are all the tools and supplies needed for the gluing up. Paper towels, heavy straight edge, rubber roller, brush and can for glue, sharp utility knife, and miracle muck glue. This is acid-free archival glue which is heat reactivatable and costs about $38 per gallon. We get this from SourceTech in Arizona. For the gluing, I put down a layer of brown paper to make cleanup easier. Lay out your panel and canvas and apply a nice even layer of glue with a brush to both the panel and the canvas. Make sure to get plenty of glue on the edges. Turn the panel over onto the canvas back and press down firmly, moving it around a little to seal the glue. Wipe up any excess or spilled glue from around the edges or on the work table and turn the panel over. Using the roller, roll the canvas from center to the edges to firmly adhere it and to squeeze out any excess glue. Turn it over again and wipe off the glue that is squeezed out. Lay the panel canvas side down on a flat surface and put a weight on it to press it and eliminate wrinkling while drying. I put a flat board on top to even the pressure and then weight it down with a heavy toolbox. Stack the panels and let them dry with the weight on them overnight. To trim the edges, place on a flat board and use a heavy metal straight edge such as a framing square as a guide. Trim with a sharp utility knife. This may take a little practice. Lastly, make a custom label with your name, website, brief bio, etc. 
and glue to the back of the panel. You can print these yourself, cut them to size, and glue them on using a thin white glue. The last part of this video shows how I prepare the panels for airline travel. Stack them and put one wooden panel on the top and the bottom for protection. Then use stretch tape to hold them together. To return with painted panels which are not quite dry, if the paint is not too thick you can insert sheets of wax paper between the panels, or you can use spacers such as matchsticks and repeat the process. I also make the wood back panels, like you see here, to use when weight is not as much of a factor. I start out at Lowe's Lumberyard and buy several 4 by 8 foot sheets of birch plywood paneling. I have the Lowe's Lumber Department rip them into widths that I will use for the panels, uh, which makes them easier to transport in my SUV. For instance, if I am making 12 by 16 inch panels, I rip the sheets into 12 inch strips and um, then bring them home to cut them to the exact size needed using my radial arm saw. They are then sanded and varnished on the good side with a water-soluble water varnish. I then glue on one of these info stickers. One note is that you have to make sure if there are flaws on the side that you're gluing the canvas on, you need to fill them with sheetrock spackle and sand them flat or the indentations will show on the final product. This produces a beautiful and durable panel. I hope that helps, and I hope I don't get any death threats from husbands who now have a new job making plein air panels.